Is it possible to bend the bullet around your body? In the movie Wanted, bullets can be curved to hit targets behind obstacles, and while that concept was thoroughly debunked on Mythbusters, I began wondering if the same effect could be done with some cheap metal pipe. Oh, reminds me of my birth. So Looney Tune type ideas are abundant in warfare, but the difference is, this best idea is completely stupid. To make this interesting, we'll shoot different calibers and compare them to a normal level 3A bulletproof vest. And to start, we're going to shoot 9mm out of a sideways Glock for maximum damage. No surprise the Kevlar vest worked as expected against the handgun. There is a bulge here though, but it did not go through. Now let's try the pipe vest. A more hashed out version would probably have some type of metal funnel to direct the bullets into the holes. But let's just see if this concept works first, and we'll know if it goes through if it pops yeah, this balloon. Got it! Got it! Woo! Oh, wow. You can see the 9mm bullet going into the pipe vest and pooping out the back into shards. So it's definitely getting knocked around inside, but it's still a huge success. What about a bigger gun? This is a modern black powder rifle. It shoots a 50 caliber slug and it's the same rifle I abused in the world's longest bullet video. One. But this time, I have a shooting sled so it doesn't go flying. By the way, I was sent this vest for free to test out. And Safe Vest has no idea I'm going to shoot a rifle at it, which it's not rated for. Three, two. One. What do you think, David? <laughs> I think he went straight through. And that was right in the middle. What He's do you gonna think? be okay. He's fine. He's fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's penetration. You can see right did there. Did you say penetration? Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> so that might just be some serious internal uh, organ damage. Even though there was no penetration, the forces exerted on you will still feel like getting sack tapped by a slap fight champion. Oh, pivot. Uh, come on, come on. So at this very moment, which vest would you rather be wearing and get shot at at point blank range? There's a decent chance here that the pipe vest doesn't dissipate any of the bullet's energy into your body. Black powder muzzleloader versus pipe vest. In three, two, one. Bye bye. Well, that's definitely a hit, but how's our buddy doing? In slow mo, you can see the bullet exit the pipe vest and hit the metal plate. But if you go back, you'll see an explosion of shrapnel exactly where you probably don't want either an explosion or shrapnel. Oh yeah, he did. The walls in the pipe were too thin to contain a rifle round. So for now, conventional body armor beats the pipe vest concept. But what if the walls were much thicker? And what if you wanted to protect other parts of your body from unwelcome penetration? But before we retire the pipe vest, there is one more weapon I want to try shooting it with. Inside this box is the most dangerous weapon you can buy on Amazon. And if you weren't aware, Amazon has an insanely strict weapons policy. It's so strict that even the pocket knife we designed got banned multiple times for being too dangerous. But you can still get one at stabbylabs.com and finally be the proud owner of a fat pee, pee So by their logic, what I ordered on Amazon must be less dangerous than a fat pee, pee. This is a completely safe, not a weapon, Amazon Primable crossbow. Also, I'm going to be giving away a few of these for free to subscribers, but more on that later. To give Amazon the benefit of the doubt, these crossbows are probably not powerful enough to break skin or cause any notable damage, which explains why anybody can go online and buy- To give Amazon the benefit of the doubt, the crossbows are probably not powerful enough to go through a bulletproof plate. That's what I meant to say. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank God. And that's why anyone can go online and buy one on Prime, as long as it's not a folding pocket knife called a fat PP. Salt is a way of life. The ceiling's salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, the air is salt. But how will the pipe vest hold up? If there's an impact on this yellow plate, we'll know if it made it all the way through. All right, I'm just picking any random hole. <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> oh. My. I couldn't quite get it in, even though there were 14 holes on this mannequin. And contrary to my experience, aiming for a lower hole might make entry a whole lot easier. Oh. Three, two, oh. On slow mo, you can see it go in without much resistance despite the shaft snapping. We clearly got a plate strike, and if you look at my tip, you can see that it's yellow but I'm not sure how that's relevant. All right, crossbows aside, let's go back to using guns and see what happens if we use a thicker walled pipe. We set everything back up only using one pipe this time, and we also gave it a zigzag bend for good measure. I think the bullet's gonna come out and then break the pipe right at this first bend right here. Well, the way it's set up right now, it's gonna miss. Oh yeah, you're right. Ready? Firing in three, two, 
Und. Oh! <laughs> it totally worked! I don't feel anything on this side. Wow. This time, the pipe remained completely undamaged. The metal plate has a solid hit, and we're even able to catch a glimpse of the bullet flying out frame. So in theory, we could make a vest with thicker pipe and you'd be able to curve an indefinite amount of rifle rounds around your body like in the movie. But what would that vest be rated up to? Barrett versus pipe. Three, two, one. I think you are right. I see some daylight. Sounds clear. It looks like it bounced here, blew a hole. Bounced here, blew another hole. By no means is this a rigorous scientific experiment. The Barrett has roughly 10,000 foot pounds more energy than the previous test. But here's something worth mentioning. You can fit exactly two fingers in both of the holes, which is a scientific observation. But what about a bigger, slower, and rounder projectile like a cannonball? The other day I went shopping for some new underwear, and that's where I found this. This is a ballistic pelvic underwear. It does have a tiny Kevlar insert, but I'm a little doubtful it'll prevent much from going in. Or if we're being honest with each other, keeping projectiles from going... out. And that's what gave me the idea to try out this pipe underwear concept. To simulate the forces you'd expect from barbacoa on a hot summer day, let's see if it can handle the forces of a cannonball. This one pipe costs around $400 to bend into this exact thickness and shape. So for the love of God, it helps so much if you liked and subscribed. Firing in three, two, one. Damn, killed that mother So the plume of smoke quickly engulfs everything, but there are a few things to see. In this frame, you can actually see the cannonball going into the pipe. The mix of smoke and unburnt gunpowder here, flames burning Manny underneath the vest, and the cannonball exiting here. But did it go through? Luckily, from another angle, you can see the projectile exiting the end of the pipe despite losing most of its velocity. This is absolutely huge hugely stupid. Guys, if you want to win a crossbow, check out the link below. We're also working really hard to keep Fat PP's, our fifth pocket EDC knife, in stock this time, so be gentle. We also have a brand new Stabby Labs product that we spent over 10 months designing. When you see it, you're going to literally, literally shit yourself because of how cool of an idea this is. It's Stabby Labs first EDC pen, but it's not any ordinary pen. That's unveiling very soon and it's available for pre-order at stabbylabs.com.